The growth mindset is an ideal developed over 30 years ago by Carol Dweck. Her research began with the question, why do some students rebound after facing obstacles? Why do some seem traumatized after even the slightest setbacks? And ended with the final answers, growth and fixed mindsets. Uh, having a growth mindset is uh, having the ability to work through challenges and difficulties and knowing that you have the ability to work through those challenges and difficulties and not um, giving up. So just always believing that you can try with enough um, with enough work, uh, work at it without giving up. Yeah. Even people who have never heard of a growth mindset have admitted to experiencing it at some point in their life. I've been drawing my whole life. When I was a kid, I would draw pictures, and my mom would be like, oh, that's a nice house. I'm like, Mom, it's a picture of you. And I was horrible at it. I was really terrible. Um, and then I started learning what people look like. Heads, necks, bodies, legs, arms. And I started drawing them without arms out, but arms in. And I got used to proportions. And that was probably in the fifth grade when I started doing that. But I was not born with any sort of artistic talent. I feel like I have a drive to be creative, but I didn't have the hard skills needed to be an artist. So it was right around uh, 1998, I started going, how can I push skills? How can I understand? So I started making observations, trying to understand those observations. So figures, uh, spaces, techniques, textures, values. And I really wanted to push myself to understand those, and I drew all the time. Uh, I think the skills that I have were based on practice. And you know, if I'm not in my work drawing, if I'm not practicing those skills regularly, they do deplete. In order to have a growth mindset, you have to develop tangible goals and understand the difference between a goal and a dream. So if you have a dream, um, you know, I can dream many things, but uh, if I don't set that, if I don't set an intention, like a specific um, plan, so if I don't say, you know, my goal is to uh, have my master's degree in, you know, teaching, uh, math by this date, you know, if I don't have that, if I'm just like, oh, someday I hope I get a master's degree, um, that's kind of the difference. So a goal is something you're actively working towards, you kind of have an idea of what it might take to get there. Um, Growth mindset relates to and can be used for many different skills, including singing, playing an instrument, athletics, drawing, and even school. If you don't have a growth mindset, it's most likely that you have a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is thinking that you are born, you know, being a mathematician or an artist or um, an athlete, and um, that's it. If you don't have those skills, then you can't acquire those skills. So if I can't draw by the time I'm in, you know, sixth grade, then I'm just never going to be an artist. Um, so it's not believing that hard work and effort um, gets you anywhere. So um, I think people have fixed mindsets because I think we haven't been told otherwise. Um, I think until I learned about growth mindsets, I didn't even realize how many different areas of my life that it kind of had a fixed mindset also. Um, and then I just actively was trying to change it because I, heard, I read about the research, but nobody ever told me, you know, hey, if you work really hard and, you know, draw for five hours every night, um, you can be an artist or a singer. Like, nobody ever really, like, explicitly told, told me that. Um, um, so I don't think it's anybody's fault that they have a fixed mindset. I think it's just, like, a series of um, experiences they have and nobody just steering them, you know, in, in kind of the right or growth mindset direction. I'm gonna fight them all A seven nation army couldn't hold me back They're gonna rip it off